Hey folks, today we're going to be wrapping up our Schubert bio lectures by talking about his musical style and contributions. Like last time, this should be a fairly quick one. So we've talked about this before, but Schubert is a uh, bridge composer, which means that he spans between the classical and romantic eras in a more than just the timeline. His approach to music spans the two genres. He relies heavily on classical form structures and instrumentation, such as using sonata form with repeated exposition, theme and variations, intentionally symmetrical phrases, all of these classical form-based ideas. At the same time, however, Schubert embraces the romantic sense of harmony, namely that of chromaticism, sudden uh, and formally unusual modulations, and really just using harmony as this hyper-expressive tool. Now, Mozart and Beethoven are huge influences on this young man, and Mo Mozart more with his melodic sensibilities, and Beethoven more with his approach to uh, symphonic composition, and you'll see a great deal of Mozartian lyricism in Schubert's vocal music. At the same time, the German Romantic poets play an important role in Schubert's music making. Of a special import to Schubert is this guy named Goethe, who will come up quite a bit as you continue to study history at large, not just music history. For our purposes, however, he penned the poem Erlkenig that we're going to be studying next. Now, Schubert is really important to the evolution of art song, so we should talk about that for a bit. Art song is the musical setting of a poem for solo voice, generally with piano accompaniment, so that's quite straightforward, right? Well, Schubert pushes this genre and really works at tying text to music through word painting, ensuring that there's a psychological intensity in his songs that had rarely been seen before. He also ups the piano's importance in art song, making it a leading player rather than just a backup. The music being played by the piano is given textual ties just as the voice is. Now let's have a chat about some specifics, and I apologize for how I'm going to butcher some of these names. Also remember that this is just a sampling, it's not a complete catalog of his music. So symphonies we got nine, including number eight, uh, which is maybe his most famous, it's called Unfinished. Uh, and number nine, which is nicknamed the Great. Chamber, uh, we got 15 string quartets, including one of my favorites, Death and the Maiden, Trout Quintet, Piano Trios, Octet for Winds, Duo Sonatas. For piano, there's Sonatas, Impromptus, Moment Musical, Variations, Dances, Duets. And then we come to Leader, of which are 600. So we should talk about what Leader is. So lead, or the plural leader, is quite simple. It's basically just German art song. Nevertheless, here's the full definition. A lead is the musical setting of a German poem. This setting is for solo voice, generally with piano accompaniment. Lead flourished as a genre in the 19th century. Okay, German art song. So like I said, there's 1600 leader, uh, including, and again, I apologize for my pronunciation here, and die Musik, Stanchen, die Pharrell, Haydn, Rosalien, and Ave Maria. Here we come to song cycle. So again, definition for that. Uh, song cycle is a collection of art songs united by a central theme or narrative thread. These songs are intended to be performed together. So again, a very straightforward definition. It's kind of almost like a, uh, it's, it's sort of like a concept album. You want to play the entire thing together. So, song cycles, Die Winterreise, Die Schönbeleren, uh, and Schwanengesang. We, we have uh, a lot of other vocal music, which is kind of funny that we have this other category for it. Uh, there's an opera called Fierabras, which I keep forgetting exists, and Seven Masses. Well, if you start diving into a lot of this music, you'll you'll quickly realize something. Schubert was a deeply sad and emotionally distraught guy, and, and that turmoil lives throughout this music. Perhaps this turmoil, which was uh, undoubtedly so difficult for him to endure, is what helped music to be propelled into the Romantic period, where music was imbued with emotion that you just didn't see previously. And I promise you it could be a short one, and that is it for our Schubert bio lectures. Thanks for listening.